New at five, a York County woman pleads guilty to an unusual and deadly crime. Lana Clayton today pleading guilty to manslaughter for killing her husband with eye drops. That shocking crime happened back in 2018. And today the judge calling it the most bizarre homicide case he's ever seen. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm Sarah. Clayton. And I'm Bill McGinty. Let's get right out live to our Tanya Mendez in York County tonight. So Lana Clayton wound up sentenced to 25 years, but this was a very long plea hearing. In fact, the longest one that the judge said that he had ever been a part of. Ultimately, he said that this was a case that he really wrestled with. The two sides were worlds apart in how they saw what happened. What a tangle web we weave. Ms. Clayton, you sure have tangled this one up. In the most bizarre case a judge says he's ever seen, Lana Clayton, the Lake Wiley woman accused of poisoning her husband with eye drops back in 2018. Did you let him suffer for three days? Pleaded guilty to voluntary manslaughter, sentenced to 25 years. She told the judge she didn't mean to kill her husband, she just wanted to make him sick. After finding out the Visine was a cause of death, I attempted to take my life as well. I couldn't live with the thought that he did such a terrible thing. The people who love Stephen Clayton didn't buy it. And although I'm sickened to have to be in the same room with the monster who killed my brother. The people who love Lana paint a picture of a woman who suffered years of sexual abuse as a child and young adult before she was emotionally and physically abused by Steve. If you talked to me like that, I would be gone. Like if you... And there were times where we could even ask my mom, do we, do you need to come with us? Is there something going on? Because we had seen it. But the twist in this case, two years ago, Lana shot Steve in the back of the head with a crossbow. At the time, she claimed it was an accident. Ultimately, the judge said that history was just too problematic. Family getting the closure they came for. May God be the only one who has mercy on her blackened soul. Tough words right there from the family of Stephen Clayton. Meanwhile, as part of this ruling, the judge also ordered that Lana Clayton is going to have to continue to receive psychiatric care. He said that it's obvious that this is a woman who is in need of some psychological help as well. Reporting live in York County, I'm Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte.